Welcome back to Revenant Bowling. My name is Jason Robarge, and today we have another ball review for you. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the new Hammer Effect. This is the new high-end ball from Brunswick. It does sport a pearl cover stock, and it is the first bowling ball to have four colors. As you can see, it's a very, very, very pretty bowling ball. It does have a brand new core. So what Hammer did was combine the Vibe core and the Black Widow core to create the Huntsman. The Vibe and the Black Widow have been around for, I mean, at this point, I can almost say decades. They're really proven, and they wanted to combine the two to create a bowling ball that has an RG of a little bit lower 2.47 and a 15.050 uh, differential and a 0.017 intermediate. It does have a pearl cover stock, the cohesive pearl sporting HK22. This bowling ball, kind of the way I wanted to drill it, would be a, a big left to right, heavy rolling bowling ball. Compared to some of the other ASIMs I've done recently, it does have a little bit lower uh, intermediate diff, which should be a teensy bit smoother and a little bit, smooth, like when it transitions, a little bit slower, but it still has a high intermediate diff. It should flip pretty hard. Uh, I wanted to create a ball that I drilled the Archetype Hybrid and I drilled that to be pretty front to back. I want to transition kind of quickly and keep my angles, even if I am left, shut down a little bit and play towards the pocket. But I feel like what I'm missing in my bag is a ball that I can get left with, not have to worry about as much recovery and cross a lot of the boards, really open the lanes up. So that's what this ball is gonna give me, I'm hoping. I have not really thrown it a whole lot yet. It's gonna be kind of fresh to you guys as it is fresh to me. So without further ado, let's get into it. Like any other ball review, it's gonna hook too much, but I'm gonna play up second arrow. We are bowling on Music City. This is a pattern that it's 41 foot, a higher amount of mils, almost 30. And I wanted to get something with a high volume. That way I can just really show how strong this ball is. It is a very strong bowling ball, very big core in it. So let's do the first shot somewhere around second arrow and let's go Brooklyn. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of expected that one. Um, so the layout I did put on this bowling ball is a 60 by four and seven eighths. Oh, sorry, four and a half by 60. What I wanted to do with this one is promote a little bit higher RG uh, by using a 60 drill. Raising the pin to pat increases RG, but it also increases diff a little bit. So I wanted to make sure that it's still flared, but got down lane before it really started picking up. It does have a pearl cover stock that's gonna help promote length as well. All right, let's move towards third arrow. I'm thinking I could probably get this ball kind of wide. We'll see. I bowled on this pattern for the conspiracy review. I kind of have an idea on what it should do. We'll see. All right, still a little too far right. Transitions pretty quickly. What I'm expecting is this ball is gonna hook a lot. I'm gonna keep moving left a little bit. Once I get lined up, we'll play around a little bit more. This ball is pretty ace. This is very pretty. It does match my shoes. So these are the new Power Diesels from Hammer. They came out, I think this week they might come out, next, uh, last week or so. Uh, but they're the first Hammer shoe, I believe, that has the, the twisting system. I can't remember the actual name of their system, but anyways, it's pretty cool. Uh, and I really like it just because I don't have to tie my shoe. All right, we're gonna move a little bit deeper. a little too much that was bad so the more I'm moving left right now the more it's smoothing out a little bit just because it's crossing more boards we'll see I want to move left a teensy bit more that was inside a teensy bit so we'll try to still keep that ball getting going right I did drill this ball to be a big left to right so the fact that it's not working where I'm standing is a big plus for me uh, just because that's why I wanted to drill it where's the standing I got that to like three, four down lane. Didn't expect to recover, but it had plenty of energy trucking back to the pocket. So that's a good sign, it's a really good sign. Now typically, I don't know if I'd throw this type of bowling ball in league. For what we have here, it, it, our league shot really promotes just a smooth, controllable, symmetric typically ball motion. However, new ball syndrome is kind of kicking in. So I might throw this in league tonight, we'll see. Not bad, not bad. So it's definitely left to right, for sure. Honestly, it's doing kind of what I wanted, which I'm really excited about. It does have dot with this bowling ball. It doesn't matter for this, this time, but the pin is in the ring finger. 
and the dot was just right next to it. So with the dot system, it's really neat from Brunswick. They put it on radical balls, Brunswick balls, all sorts of random bowling balls. But basically what they do is they put the pin on the backside. That way, as a pro shop operator, I can drill the ball however I want and not have to worry about voiding the warranty if I cut too close to the pin or cut into the pin. Very nice. All right, it definitely likes bigger angles. What's nice, it's still an ASIM. When you guys look at Specto, take a look at the last 10 feet of the Specto, and you're gonna see this ball kind of roll forward pretty well. Uh, since it is an ASIM, it's going to want to transition sort of quickly and roll forward a little bit more. And that's kind of what I'm getting. I can control the pocket even when I'm deep. All right. Now let's have some fun. We're gonna check recovery. This doesn't really help a whole lot of viewers, but I'm gonna wheel in. Nice. Oh, just as an introduction, that's the owner of Center Bowl, Chris Clapper. Best lefty to ever live. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get left because that was fun. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and mess around a little bit, change speeds, change hand positions, see if I can play with this ball a little bit. Oh my God, I got around that a lot. Uh, but that truck back really hard, which I like. Uh, I didn't slow down. That's not a ball motion I would really like want as far as how I threw that. Um, however, it struck, so I'm happy. All right, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna try to pick my speed up, soften my hand, kind of try to play a little bit farther right, see if it blends better or if it checks kind of hard. Yeah, still check kind of hard. So with ASIMs, a lot of bowling balls. There's actually really like, there's a break area, but for the most part with ASIMs, there's kind of two break points sometimes. You're gonna see the ball wanna start transitioning, um, starts reading the lane, general friction, and then like that ball, you kind of saw a double hook. Uh, then the weight block finally flipped over and it just struck too far left. I'm not a massive fan of that double hook stuff. Uh, I wanted to blend out a little bit more. So we're gonna move left. I'm actually not gonna move left. I'm just gonna pick my speed up. See if I can get it down lane more. Nah, a little too strong. So a bowling ball like this, for a high rip player like me, Big angles, left to right, provides phenomenal recovery. I'm honestly very surprised. I don't think I've gone light at all, even in practice with this ball. Uh, it just provides a ton of recovery with that cover stock combination and also the HK22 along with the cover stock, but also the core just being very, very big. For a low rev player, if you're looking for a bowling ball that crosses more boards, gets down lane, uh, help control the pocket, sort of, it is an ace, but looking for that quicker reaction, this is kind of that ball for you. Probably one of your, probably the strongest pearl in your bag. More than likely, you're gonna be playing a little bit left to right. Uh, my imagination tells me that this is gonna be more of a transition, not quite into a burn, but towards transition where I have to move left, I need a bigger ball, I need recovery, because the lanes aren't broken down quite yet. So, I wanna go ahead, I wanna try that again. I really like softening the hand up, but it still hooks a lot. That's hooking. Oh, all right, not too bad, not too bad. This ball is versatile-ish. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like a symmetric versatile or anything like that, but if you've thrown the Black Widow Ghost, uh, even, even the 2.0 to a point, um, or something like, it kind of reminds me a little bit of a tiny sharper, like uh, the one Encore, or even the one if it was a Pearl, Kind of reminds me of that. Um, I don't think I have anything like this besides probably my Paragon Pearl, the green one. Uh, however, I drilled that to be a little quicker to respond and roll out more. So this provides me a little bit more left to right than I feel like that ball did not. So we're gonna go ahead and throw one more. I just wanna strike, so I'm gonna go ahead and hook the line. Very good. So it seems like the farther I get left, the more it blends out because it's covering more boards. Definitely wouldn't be a fresh ball for me. Wouldn't be a burn ball, it's too strong. So definitely a transition type of bowling ball, which was what I've seen here I'm very happy with. That's kind of exactly what I was imagining. 
Am I gonna put 150 games on it over the next year? Probably not. It's gonna be probably part of my tournament arsenal. It's gonna go with me possibly the Nationals. It does give me the Blackwood a 2.0 vibe a little bit. A little bit later, a little bit sharper, Pearl hybrid. We'll see if it makes my, my Nationals arsenal, because I'm only bringing six balls from Alaska, shipping and flights. I'm thinking it's probably gonna come with me. We'll see, but it's one of those balls where I can get left. Uh, in team event last year, kind of slow wheeling the ball a little bit worked really well. I might try to do that again, but we'll see. In conclusion, that was the review of the new Hammer Effect. Their first four color bowling ball. Uh, it's very pretty, has great shelf appeal as a pro shop owner. owner. However, it rolls even better. So if you guys have any questions, please remember to leave some comments. We'll get to them as quickly as possible. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel way more than you may think. With that said, this is the Hammer Effect. My name is Jason Robarge. We're Rev It Up Bowling. Much love, peace.